Hello and welcome to Photo Finds. This installment for September 2nd, 2014. I'm your host, Nick Russo. Let's go ahead and begin. We are at Universal Studios Florida this week, starting out here at the entrance. Just taking a look real quick at the sign they have out for Rock the Universe. This is, of course, their annual kind of Christian celebration where they invite different groups, Christian groups, to come listen to some music and celebrate and worship. They do it every year on a few different stages around, including the main one, but we'll soon see a, uh, a couple other stages as well. Making our way inside the gates, I just wanted to point out this smoking section over here off of Rodeo Drive. Sometimes it's over here by the Shrek 4D extended queue, but at other times it's actually right across the street next to these blue gates here. It kind of jumps around, so if you are a smoker or if you're just interested, keep that in mind. Sometimes it does jump around. I don't really know why. Maybe when they were using that Shrek extended queue, um, they want it over on the, across this, across the street. Anyway, taking a look up at the, uh, the buildings here at the, at the lights that they have up for Halloween Horror Nights, these are new as far as I'm concerned. They do have lights up on the tops of the buildings all year round, but taking a look at these, these are specifically for Horror Nights, I do believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. They have some new lights as well up on top of Mel's, those, though these could be for Rock the Universe because they do have a Rock the Universe stage set up right here. So if you sometimes see a stage set up weeks before Halloween Horror Nights begins, it is not for a new Halloween Horror Nights show. It is for Rock the Universe. This is one of their smaller stages that they have set up over here by the show lagoon outside of Mel's. Moving on, what we're looking at here is actually Halloween Horror Nights 24 construction. This is over by the new Film Vault store on the street between the Mummy and Transformers. And this is where the Purge uh, scare zone is going to go. Obviously, that is telltale by the signs that they have. Reminder, all emergency services will be suspended. I haven't seen the two movies, Purge or Purge Anarchy, so I don't know if these signs are part of the actual storyline to the movie. They have some construction barriers set up out here, these orange uh, barriers. And more of these signs, these are kind of common all around the scare zone. You see these several times. What this sign is blocking is this blue tow truck, which again, I didn't see the movie. I don't know if this is an actual movie shown, an actual vehicle shown in the movies, but it is part of the scare zone here. And kind of all of the vehicles have this similar A Nation Reborn uh, license plate, which I would imagine is part of the the Purge movies themselves. All of the vehicles seem to have the same license plate instead of any particular state on them. Another shot of the tow truck blocked in by some black and white barricades and Optimus Prime priming in the background. A look inside of the seat of that tow truck and we can see a couple of things. Obviously some weapons and a beaded seat there. Beaded seat cover for whatever reason. Another view of that. I believe, no, that is not a bat. <laughs> There's a club on the seat, and I thought there was a bat, but that looks like it's just the uh, stick shift. This is uh, the ceiling, uh, the roof tops over in the purge scare zone. Obviously, some lights going in for that. Another shot from the left to the right. Lights all along the rooftops. Now, we are out over by the Gramercy Park side of the purge scare zone. Another vehicle, another uh, pickup truck here. And uh, that also has a Nation Reborn tag on it. And it's also decked out in some of these Purge-themed bumper stickers. And these, these bumper stickers and small details are really uh, spread out among the scare zone. They really did a really good job theming it, and it's not even done. This is just the first couple of days of decorations. Perhaps it is done, I'm not sure, but I, I don't see that being the case. Purge or be purged. And another thing they have out here are these kind of uh, stoops that are fenced off and barricaded as if families are inside trying to ward off the uh, criminals that are participating in the purge. All right, a few more shots of uh, front porches out here. And then uh, these barrels are also out front of the apartment homes over here by Gramercy Park. I don't know what the purpose of the barrels are, except maybe a hiding space for uh, scare actors. They also have some stickers attached to them. 
And they are also fog machines, as you can see here. We have seen this in many years of Halloween Horror Nights, where they use these steel barrels as fog machine effects. Another shot of those barricaded in apartment homes and the barrels here. A couple more decorations of stickers and and uh, bumper stickers, things like that. And then these blue wreaths were also common um, on a lot of the doors in the scare zone. Again, didn't see the movie, so I don't know if blue wreaths have anything to do with the plot line, but it seemed that way. There were a lot of blue wreaths. Another shot of the sign here on the street next to Gramercy Park. Mummy in the background. And I believe... No, this was the same day. Uh, I shot these pictures on two different days. This is still the first day. Uh, usually there is a bus stop here. It has been removed. I'm not sure if that has anything to do with the Purge Scare Zone, but I know that they were casting for dirt bike riders, so maybe the removal of that that bus stop is to make room for perhaps a stunt performance that has to do with dirt bikes. That's just speculation. I don't know. Around the corner from this, across from the mummy, we do have this uh, Volkswagen Beetle up on its its back two wheels. Over by Disaster, I'm not taking a picture of something that is here, but rather a picture of what isn't here. If you know Halloween Horror Nights in Universal, you know that this area usually has a fire cannon over here. Now, I don't know if they're omitting it this year, but for now, the fire cannon is missing from this scene. Over to Springfield, uh, usually Springfield is not part of Halloween Horror Nights, but they do have lights up here. I don't think these are here all year round, but even if Springfield is not part of Halloween Horror Nights, they usually do some uh, theming just to give the ambience all around the park. So I believe these new lights, well, these lights are new on top of Moe's here. Over into Central Park, they have these light towers up, just black towers for now. No theming at all over here. My guess is this is going to be the face-off scare zone. Not much theming at all, really, though. Just these lights up here on the black poles, and they have some fog machines going in. But that's really about it. Just a few more shots of the light towers. And now we are on to the next day. This is the very next day after those previous pictures were taken. And we were back over here outside of Twister where that perch scare zone is going to be. And the next day these scaffolding towers went up. They have one over here on the corner. Across from that tower up here next to the uh, Macy's building. On top of the Macy's building they have some speakers. Quite a few speakers. Looks like four or five up there. Those are not usually there. Here's a close-up of them. And here's another shot of those scaffolding towers, one across the street from the other. I have no idea what these are going to be. It looks like they could possibly be uh, fog machines at the base, maybe just a couple more lighting towers. Here's another one over by the Rip Ride Rocket. And then taking a look up at the rooftop where those kind of barricaded in apartment homes were just wanted to get a shot of this downward facing speaker and, uh, you know you don't usually see those speakers like that so perhaps they're trying to get some very specific sound design worked in there just a banner i didn't see this the previous day i don't know if it was there but this was taken i believe on saturday i want to say and then the last thing we're going to see is between the Shrek 4D and Despicable Me building, they have this kind of chandelier suspended here on four cables. Uh, my guess is that this is going to be the Masquerade Scare Zone, and I only base that off of the fact that Masquerade says kind of bright, colorful, and that kind of theme to me, and that's kind of where I would see this chandelier belonging. That's just speculation, though. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this installment of Photo Finds for September 2nd, 2014. I'm your host, Nick Russo. Thanks for stopping by as always. And until next week, have fun. Bye.